Hi, this is Dr. Gans again, your narrator, and welcome to part two of our uh, six-part series on basic dental problems, dental emergencies. Now, this, uh, the second part will be on denture problems, and there are two questions that we hear all the time. One is about denture sores, and the other is about retention. So let's answer these questions for you. Now, please, I refer you back to video number one and the disclaimer. Because we don't know you personally, we can only give you general advice. If there's any bleeding, any infection, or if you have any swelling or any pain, we do suggest that you call your dentist immediately. If you don't have a dentist, you can certainly find a dentist in your yellow pages, call your local dental societies or hospitals, or check on 911dentalonline.com in the link section where we have a list of dentists in certain areas in the country that are more than willing to help you if you need, do need help. So anyway, let's answer these two questions for you. The first being, I have a denture. What can I do? And it's a denture sore. Well, denture sores can be caused by a variety of issues. Very often, this can be either an old denture that no longer fits properly, or it may be a new denture. Now, if it's an old denture then it, and it doesn't fit well, you may need to see your dentist and to have that denture relined or remade. The, uh, you know, what you have to realize is your gums are very soft and the denture is very hard. And there's, if there's going to be a battle between a denture and your gum tissue, the gum tissue will lose every time. Now, sometimes it's just a fleeting thing. You, know, you may get a little seed or something caught under the denture when you place it. That can cause a little ulceration. Just leaving that denture out overnight can sometimes alleviate the problem. However, if it, if it doesn't, you need to have dental treatment done. Now, if this is a new denture, then it is most likely just a minor adjustment that needs to be done by your dentist. New dentures do have a breaking in period, and oftentimes adjustments are necessary during that time. Your dentist will be able to evaluate this at your next visit. Now, if you have a sore and cannot get to your dentist, you can either leave the denture out, which once again may alleviate the problem, or you can place some of the over-the-counter medications which contain benzocaine, which is a little numbing agent, and you put that medication in the denture in the area of the sore. Now, there are a wide variety available at your local druggist. Now, if you have a sore that lingers and stays for a while, we suggest that you obviously give your dentist a call. You should not have a sore that lingers, and it should not last. Uh, it's not healthy, and by the way, it hurts. So please, take care of it as quickly as possible. The next question is about denture retention. Now, you get a denture, and it's placed, and now it just, it just doesn't stay at a place, and you can't eat. Well, the treatment for a loose denture is dependent, as you can probably imagine, on the cause. Is the denture very old, and therefore may, your gum tissues may have changed over the years, and therefore it results in a loss of retention? Now, it's possible that a reline of your denture may be indicated. You need to discuss the treatment alternatives with your dentist. Now, if this is a new denture, then the retention may just not be adequate for a wide variety of reasons, including limited bone support. Now, I would suggest that a discussion of dental implants may be in your future. For now, you can go to use one of the denture adhesives that you can find at your local druggist and just follow the instructions on the, on the package. Now, once again, dentures, older dentures, may have, you may have lost retention due to a change in the gum tissue and they may need to be relined. New dentures, uh, it may just be that you just don't have great bone support and that dental implants may be necessary. And once again, there's also a time period for all denture wearers, especially new denture wearers, to get used to the fact that there are no teeth holding the denture in place. So you may just have to give it a while, give it a while and learn how to adjust to the denture yourself. Hope this helps and we'll see you in video three.